The work of a refugee artist and activist is providing Hoosiers with an eye-opening world perspective. WRTV's Griffin Gonzalez shares the inspiring story of one man's journey to America, his choice to make Indianapolis home, and his message about refugees in the U.S. Uh, they're painted in a negative light, and yet you have people with extraordinary skill sets. All the way from physicians to engineers to artists uh, with great gifts. This month, the Indianapolis Arts Center is unveiling an exhibit called Mirrors of Common Destiny. It features 50 pieces of art created by 37 refugee artists. Help me find my family, please. Help me find my family, please. Jean-Claude Lafinia is a refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo. He uses an interpreter and a canvas to share his story. First, I have to let you know that I came here because uh, we had uh, political issues in my country, and that was the main reason I left my country to come here for uh, my safety. His brushstrokes illustrate the challenges that come with leaving his family to escape persecution. People like me stand uh, to speak on the behalf of the population. You'll be killed. You'll be killed. A year ago, Jean decided to make Indianapolis home. Why Indy? Because I need to bring something new on this city. Bruce Garrison is the co-founder of the nonprofit Patchwork Indy, which helps set up the exhibit. He discovered Jean Claude on accident. I was invited to an event, and there was a meeting, just kind of raising awareness uh, in a Congolese church. And in that meeting, uh, Jean Claude's paintings were all around, and I thought we've found our second artist. Garrison hopes the exhibit provides a new perspective on refugees in America. I think what we're hoping is that people begin to understand the depths of the cultures that are here. A lot of the people didn't want to leave their homes. Most of them did not. So I think that's probably the first thing is to recognize the challenges that they have faced even to still be alive. In Indianapolis, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV.